possessing Gwen and trying to throw her off the building. After a long fight, Ben figured out that the sun is the only way to defeat Ghost Freak and finished him. Animo got his hands on a piece of the Omnitrix after Ben messed with it and broke it. This twisted man used it to create alien-looking animals, and he even turned Max into a sticky worm. Kevin and Vilgax then decided to stand together against Ben after Kevin found Vilgax frozen in space. So together they fought Ben, and Max used the Null Void Projector to send the two into the void. But Ben ended up getting sucked in with them as well. After a long, intense fight in the void, and after getting followed by Gwen who tried to save Ben, Gwen had to make the choice between his cousin and the watch, and he almost gave it up. But Gwen tricked them and changed the watch with an empty capsule. They then go out of the void, leaving Vilgax and Kevin there. Kevin ended up in the void's prison as an angry freak. He made a friend there who helped him control his emotions, and he really did learn how to start going back to his human form. The other prisoner had a plan to escape the prison through a tunnel underground. Kevin ran away, but unfortunately, the other prisoner didn't make it and was killed by the guards. Now we get to the third season, Max, Ben, and Gwen are still together, and we get introduced to Sublimino, the clown who hypnotized Ben and made him steal from banks. Charmcaster came back and exchanged bodies with Gwen accidentally, which led to Gwen and Charmcaster's body going to prison, but in the end, everything went back to normal and the real Charmcaster ended up in prison. In the next adventure, they were on a desert road and reached a village where locals were celebrating Christmas. The dwarfs kidnapped Max and turned him into Santa Claus, and they also caught the kids and turned them into dwarves. The village was back in the 30s when the time had stopped, and all its people turned into dwarves. Luckily, they managed to get everything back to normal. On the road, they met a wolf-looking creature that tried to attack them. Ben was bit by that creature and started turning into a werewolf. Wolf. The werewolf was actually an alien and, after Ben defeated him, gained him as one of his watch's aliens. The kids ended up in a video game called Sumo Slammer and they had to pass all the levels to get out of the game. They also go to a family farm to try the countryside life, but instead, they found out that the cows turn into purple creatures. The reason for that was the Snaro, whom they froze later on. The Tennysons also had to fight a crazy baseball coach who created roots to play in the game. Also, a crazy scientist created a weather controlling device that created a monster, but again, everything ended well. Later on, they hear the news that NASA's space shuttle launch was cancelled due to a purple storm, so they went to NASA and met a weird scientist called Victor, whom they discovered later to be helping Werewolf and Snero to revive Ghost Freak, whose plan was to use the shuttle and go back to space to block the sun and take over the Earth with darkness, which would allow Ghost Freak to transform all the humans to purple creatures. But after a long fight between Ben, Gwen, Max, Ghost Freak, Victor, and Snero, the Tennysons won, destroyed the shuttle, and went back to Earth. But before that, Ghost Freak attacked them once more, however they did burn him with the sunlight. They then continue their journey and meet Xylene, who detected the Omnitrix's location and followed them. We then discovered that this alien was Max's girlfriend in the past, and she was the one who sent the watch to Earth after getting attacked by Vilgax and that in fact, it was sent to Max and not Ben. Then, a robot tried to attack them, but of course they destroyed it and Ben turned into Upchuck for the first time. Then we get to the 2007 movie Ben 10, Secret of the Omnitrix, when the watch turned on the self-destruct mode when Ben was fighting Animo. Tetrax received an alarming signal from the watch and decided to go with Ben to meet Azmuth, the creator. They couldn't find him, but Azmuth's assistant told them where he was, and after after a very long journey where Ben thought he might have lost Gwen, they finally found Azmuth, and to their surprise, he didn't want to fix the watch. At the same time, Vilgax attacked them, and they got in a long fight where it turned out that Gwen was still alive and never gone. Azmuth then decided to fix the Omnitrix to help Ben win against Vilgax, and Ben also turned into way big for the first time and defeated Vilgax with him. In the first episode of the fourth and final season, Ben was chilling out on a normal day until he discovered he was inside of a dream made by the Forever Knights while they were trying to take off the watch. But he woke up from the dream and of course defeated them. Later on, Animo escaped from the prison and went to get revenge on Ben, but 
but Ben turned into Ditto for the first time and defeated Animo once again. Tex came back to look for a way to preserve his youth, and at the same time, we see Max struggling with aging. Hex tried to get to the Fountain of Youth with the help of a young man, and while fighting Ben and Max, these two became children but still destroyed the Fountain of Youth and defeated Hex. The Tennysons attend the wedding of Max's nephew, but the wedding became a mess when the bride and the groom's families fought. In fact, the two families had a long history of animosity, and the bride's family was actually aliens disguised as humans. Max's van got stolen and was turned into a weapon, but they restored it in the end. Ben got into a ring fight just to get money because he broke Gwen's laptop, but he felt bad because he won against some indebted guys who needed the money more than he did. It also turned out that Gwen tricked him into believing that the laptop was broken. And now for the last episode of the show, where the kid's cousin, Cooper, showed up. They discovered that the plumber's base was broken into in order to get the keys to the sub-energy that creates nuclear energy that the plumbers got in the past, and they protected it. It turns out it was on Mount Rushmore. They went there, but they found all of their enemies together against them under the leadership of an ex-plumber. And of course, Ben managed to destroy that sub-energy and defeated them all in the end. In another episode, which can be considered another last episode, summer vacation ended and Gwen and Ben and went back to school. Ben had to keep the Omnitrix a secret, but the school got attacked by robots that also destroyed some parts of the city. When Ben went home, he found that Vilgax attacked his parents, so he had to transform in front of them and reveal his secret. Max, Ben, and his father fought against Vilgax and saved the city, and the whole city discovered his secret. In the next videos, we're going to talk about Ben 10 timelines, in a different Ben 10 versions, and mention that people knew about Ben's secret only in Ben 10 Alien. Force. In the same timeline, and after 10 years, Ben became 20 years old in a world where both aliens and humans live peacefully. Ben was a hero, and he kept working and fighting all the bad aliens. Ben protected his family and rarely used his human form, and he was also to take the shape of 10,000 aliens. Gwen became a very strong witch, Vilgax was also there and still got defeated by Ben, and in this episode they went to the future and discovered that it was Gwen who requested requested them to attend Max's 80th birthday. After 10 years in the same timeline, Ben's son Kenneth celebrated his 10th birthday, so Ben gave him the Omnitrix. His son was a bit disappointed though because Ben was so controlling of him, but then he met a boy named Devlin who was, in fact, Kevin's son, and he used him to get out of the Void Prison. Devlin realized that his dad didn't care about him as much as he cared about getting revenge, so after a long fight, Kenneth and Ben sent Kevin back to prison. This was just another timeline that we could have seen in perhaps another season, but we definitely saw a different timeline in Ben 10 Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. What happened could have been different in another timeline where, say, Gwen got the Omnitrix instead of Ben, she was able to use the watch way better than Ben, and defeated Vilgax the same day she got the watch. So I'd say yeah, things could have been way different with her. Anyways, we've now made it to the end of the video, but as a send off, let's go through the aliens that Ben turned into. We had Heat Blast, Wild Mutt, Diamond Head, XLR8, Grey Matter, Forearms, Stinkfly, Rip Jaws, Upgrade, Ghost Freak, Cannon Bolt, Wild Vine, Spitter, Buzz Shock, Arctiguana, Blitzwolfer, Snaro, Frankenstrike, Upchuck, Ditto, Eye Guy, and of course, Way Big.